Hi YouTube, I'm back today and I want to talk about my everyday items that I use on a day to day basis or whenever I switch up and when I do my makeup. Um, I'm going to talk about things I use for my eyes, my lips, my face, and all that. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start with the items I use on my face on a day to day basis. I use the Maybelline Dream Fresh BB Cream. I love this for the spring and summer. Whenever I don't want to wear foundation, I put this on and it's super light and it's amazing. And I recommend this because it blends in with your skin really well and is a skin perfecter and it does everything basically that it says. And I love it. And I'm in the color Deep Sheer Tint. Secondly, I use this MAC blotting powder because I get kind of sort of oily in my teen zone area. Up in here I get oily and this right here is great and I love it. I've been using this for about two, two or three years now and I love it. And if you have oily skin or a combination oily skin, this still works great. And I'm in the color dark. I have another one that's in medium dark, medium deep for the winter. Um, whenever I highlight and contour my face, I usually use my Max Prep and Prime highlighter in bright forecast. I love this. This is super great. It actually gets your eyes under eye bright, and it's like a twist top application, and then you just dot it here and here and here, and it blends seamlessly. When I use this, I use this right here. It's my Max Select Moisture Cover in NW35. And I put dab that around it on top and then I blend it in with my beauty blender and it gives me the perfect highlight. I also do it down the bridge of my nose, in my forehead, on my cupid's bow, and on my chin. And to contour, I don't like to use a bronzer that has shimmer in it. So I use this NYC Smooth Skin Bronzing Powder in Sunny. You can get this from Walmart. It's like two bucks or three dollars or something like that and it's um it's great i didn't i go through this like crazy see i'm already hitting pan on it and i you this is like my fifth or sixth one and i, I love it also i forgot to mention whenever i set my concealer when i highlight or just set the concealer on my face i use this bobby brown um pressed powder and soft sand I highlight. I usually, I also have one in the loose powder, excuse me, in the loose powder, but I ran out, and this is the one that I have left, and this is great. I love Bobbi Brown powders. And for blush, I use this Mosaic Blush from Victoria's Secret in Afterglow. It came in one of their sets, but I don't know for sure if they sell it separate, but they might, and it's great. I love it. It's a pretty color. It's like a pinky color, pink color, with different colors on it. I forgot to show you the, the Bobbi Brown powder, too. It's like a soft, pale, yellowy white color. Next, for my eyes, a palette that I use quite a lot is the Victoria's Secret Summer Seduction Eye Kit. And this is an eyeshadow. It came with an eyeshadow and an eyeliner. I don't have the eyeliner at the moment but here's the palette. It has some of the most gorgeous colors I've ever seen. Like it has the, the neutrals and then they have the purples, the green and the blue and then they have the brown here and the black up the top. I just love this palette. I use this when I do neutral eyes and when I want to do a pop of color on the lid like I did today I used a little bit of this blue with another color blue on as a base and the brown right here in my crease and in the outer corner amazing I love it it's a compact too whenever you're traveling and whenever I do prime my eyes I use Max Painterly Paint Pot I some people on here rave about the soft ochre paint pot but I could never get into that that paint pot because it doesn't really look too good with my skin because it's too light and I use this one because it's more of a flesh tone color. And I like this one. 
it's real creamy and it dries um, it goes on as a cream and then it dries a powder okay and then also I love the MAC pigments I have two pigments that I use quite regular this one is melon pigment it's beautiful and it looks good with all skin tones dark light brown whatnot whatever and this is it it's a coral melanie coral color and um, these pigments last a long time and then I have vanilla it's a white frosty color the white color and this is how it looks right here it's beautiful and whenever I do wear eyeliner I usually use go for three I'll use the MAC black track gel liner fluid line gel liner it's great I love it it's creamy and it, it's easy to go along with and I use usually use the ankle eyeliner brush for MAC I can't think of the number at the moment but or a skinny one a skinny brush also if I use a pencil I use this smoky eye automatic eyeliner from Ulta it's in smoke and you can smudge it out as a retractable pencil and you can smoke it out and they have the little the smudger on the bottom I don't hardly ever use it because I don't really smoke out a liner too much but and I also use the MAC Smolder Eye Coal pencil it's a dark color and that's how it looks it's black and the one from Ulta and Smoke, it looks like this. And this right here. It's a dark black. And I'll go back and forth with three eye li three eye um, mascaras. I'll use the Max Naughty Hot and Naughty Lash, the first one. I love this one and I usually use this skinny one this is the first handle one on my bottom lashes on my bottom lashes or whatever and then I'll take the, the, the dual together and I use it on my top lashes and I go you know to make them more um, huge and then I'll use the MAC or either I'll use the MAC Bosch eyelash extreme black and this one is, I love it. It makes your eyelashes look false and it does exactly what it's going to say. And it gets every little, little nook and cranny of your eyelashes. Or either the Maybelline Falsies and Black Drama. I also use this one and then I use the CoverGirl Lash Blash. I, ha I don't have that one at the moment. And next we're going to go with the lit products I use quite a lot. <clears throat> the one I have on today is the Victoria's Secret Very Sexy Lip Lacquer and Pink Slip. I have this one on along with a um, baby lip. And this is how this one looks. And it's like a baby pink. And on top of that, I have the baby lips in Pink Punch. And this is one I, I use quite a lot too. I use it just by itself or with another lip color. All of the baby lips are moisturizing and I love them all. I have like all of them but these are the three that I use every day mostly I use the um, the peppermint one and the grapevine one the grapevine one is just deep purple I usually use this I love to use this one in the fall and winter or anytime and then the peppermint one is just a you know regular clear lip balm and then for lip glosses with MAC I'll use this one is from their spring collection like to the beach collection a couple of years back two or three years ago and this one is easy lounger and it's like a corally color with sparkles in it but it has no color it's kind of sheer or whatnot and this right here right there and then another one that I use is the luster glass in spring bean I think they discontinued this one I don't think they have it anymore I'm not for sure but I love this one. It's like a green with the sparkle. And it's right here at the bottom. 
So these are my everyday items that I may use every day when I do my makeup. Um, yeah, these are all that I use on a day-to-day -day basis when I decide to. And if I do wear foundation, I use my Max. Um, Studio Fix Fluid, and I'm NW45, NC45, sorry. And that's what I will use if I do use foundation. So, I want to thank you all for watching my channel. And um, have a nice day. And please like, rate, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.